Hello, everybody. Hello. How are you doing? All right. Good. Welcome to the Electronic Arts British Academy Children's Awards 2010, celebrating another fantastic year in children's media. We are so lucky to be part of this fabulous creative industry. We all know that, don't we? It's great, isn't it? I'm thrilled to be here in front of all the movers and shakers of children's telly, and if you're anything like me, you'll have a short attention span, so let's get cracking, shall we? We're going to get underway with a glimpse at some of the fine work that we're going to be seeing this evening. Take a look. Please, may I have your attention? <laughs> this is your final battle. <laughs> Okay, the first award tonight is the BAFTA for short form, which is for programmes of under five minutes. Now, these are shows designed for those with developing brains, so toddlers, young children, and commissioning editors. To present this award, a man who has starred in The Hawk, Great Moments in Aviation, Harnessing Peacocks, Mad Dogs and Englishmen, Macbeth on the Estate, Strings, Balakis Angel, and Robin Hood. More dramas than Wayne Rooney, everybody. Please welcome David Harewood. Hello, how are you doing? I tell you, whoever wins this award, they better be strong because they're really, really heavy. So here are the nominees for short form. Short form. World Cup stories. The World Cup soccer will take place here. My name is C. Paul. I'm 11 years old and this is the Cape Town Stadium. My favorite bedtime story. The next day, the king set out in his coach for a ride near the river. Seeing this, Puss in Boots rang home to tell his master, the young boy, to quickly go for a swim. The boy did as he was told and jumped in, leaving all his clothes on the riverbank. BBC Bite Size GCSE Geography. Ah, the city, hub of culture and commerce, where everyone hates everyone. In many cities, different zones have a particular land use. The Central Business District is a district that's central, where they do business. It's a new day. To my dear brother Rohan, I wish for good health and happiness throughout the rest of your life. Thank you. And I have a gift for you. Here you go, Misha. Thank you. Here you go, Maria. Thank you. <laughs> I love hugs. <laughs> And the BAFTA goes to... Get out the envelope. My favourite bedtime story. this was going to be the first award. I was hoping I could copy someone else's speech. Um, just want to say 
Thank you, Nickelodeon. Uh, thank you, all the kids and the families that let us invade their houses. Um, and thank you. <laughs> thank you, um, Blue Zoo and Helen. Yeah, and big and thanks team. to the whole team because, yeah, it was really nice to work with everyone who had such enthusiasm for the project. It was really good fun. Thank yep. you. <laughs> Okay, the next category is interactive. I'm a big fan of being interactive, although the first time I tried the red button technology, I pressed it and the telly turned off. <laughs> to present this award, the star of The One Show, she's a fluent Welsh speaker, so the first few tables might want to get your brollies out. <laughs> she spent the last four months on a sofa chatting to Jason Manford. Well, it was safer than texting him. Please welcome the lovely Alex Jones. Good evening, Nossa Thaichigid. Now, one of the reasons I get such a thrill out of being on the television every day is that it is totally interactive medium. Our viewers have as much influence on the outcome of the show as I do, and that keeps it interesting. So I'm delighted to introduce the nominees for Interactive. Interactive. The Well by Melvin Burgess. Look, it's Ogham. For example, when we see one of the ghosts hiding clues around the house to help our characters, it's the online audience who, upon completion of the tasks, get to uncover these clues first. In contrast, the characters in the drama and the viewers who only watch these episodes must wait for the next instalment. The Secret Dancer. Hi, music lovers. Welcome back to Zingzilla Island. Home Sheep Home. And the BAFTA goes to Zingzilla. Well, thank you very much, everybody. Um, oh my gosh, it's just amazing. Um, it was such a fantastic project to work on. There's so many people who worked on this project. Um, uh, specifically, um, we'd like to thank Blue Zoo, who did such amazing Blue Zoo. animation. Where are they? Um, and, you know. You the go. amazing team at Blue Zoo, the fantastic plug-in media, two of who are standing here now, um, Kay Bembo, Ali Stewart, the brilliant Tony Reid, um, those who worked in development, Nicole Seymour, Ellie Hayworth, Carl Draper, and the fantastic musicians who, who scored it, um, t uh, Chris Banks, WAG, Darren Lovejoy, and anyone that I've probably forgotten. This is fantastic. We, this is the first project in CBeebies in House where we've worked really closely with the interactive team, the TV team, interactive team together. Really fantastic partnership which hopefully, has, well, you can see has paid off. Um, and thank you really to our inspirational leader, Joe Godwin, as well. Thank you very much. This is great. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> well 
Okay, now a new award has been introduced this year to honour the work of a performer in a children's programme. And to prove how truly international BAFTA is, to present the award, we have someone all the way from Narnia. No, not the lion, don't worry. Although I am amazed she's here because earlier she said she was going to pop into wardrobe and we weren't expecting her back for years. <laughs> she's the star of The Lion, The Witch and The Wardrobe, Prince Caspian and the upcoming voyage of the Dawn Shredder. Please welcome the hugely, ridiculously talented Georgie Henley. very heavy. Um, I'm just really happy to be here, so thank you for having me. <laughs> um, the nominees for performer are... Performer. Danny Harmer for Tracy Beaker Returns. You've known me since I was a kid, Mike. What have I always wanted to be? A writer. A writer. I'm this close and you won't help me. This coming from the man who said never to let being in care hold you back. Tracy, if, if I could, I would. I don't want to hear it. I'm going to get this job, Mike. And I'm going to do it just like I've got everything else I ever wanted. On my own. Jim Howick for Horrible History. Right. I have some dreadful news. <gasps> How did wigs aren't coming back, are they? Sir, I must tell you, your father is dead. Yes! Get in! Get in! Ugh. Sir, I think you may have misheard me. Dad's dead. Dad's dead. Oh, gosh. I'm king. Ah, you, you didn't. Justin Fletcher for Giggle Bits. Go up to Gale Force now for some breaking weather. Gale, what you got for us? Yes, thank you, Arthur. Well, it does seem that autumn will be arriving earlier this year. Now, I always... What? <laughs> Well, at least it wasn't an early winter. I, yeah. what? Richard Whisker for Tracy Beaker Return. Little Minnie, you just got to get used to each other. It's a big deal living with someone you're not used to. Is it? One of the biggest things ever. Look at me, I blew my foster parents up. Did you blow Lily up? Listen, you're doing better than me already. Just give them a bit of space, eh? And don't blow them up. Yeah? And the BAFTA is awarded to... Suspense. Um, Jim Howard. <laughs> for Trousers, trousers. <laughs> thank you very much, BAFTA. Um, a few people I'd like to thank. I don't want to bore anyone, but uh, firstly, my uh, friends and family, uh, in particularly my mum and dad, who have always uh, supported my decision to become a professional idiot. <laughs> um, uh, my uh, girlfriend, Lauren, who reads an excellent Roman centurion <laughs> late at night. My agent, Lisa Tugard. Um, Giles Pilbro, Richard Bradley, Caroline Norris, Dominic Brigstock, Steve Connolly, uh, particularly Caroline for assembling such an amazing team, a fantastic crew. And uh, I'd also like to pay tribute to uh, my fellow cast members, all fantastic friends, and um, they make me laugh every day and inspire me, and, uh, and I'd like to share this with them a little bit. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Cheers. Okay, another new award now, BAFTA Young Game Designers. Now, to tell us what it's all about, an amazing up-and-coming actor, best known as Neville Longbottom from the Harry Potter movies. He's been in all the films, yeah, including the latest one where Dobby, the house elf, dies, uh, Ron and Hermione get together, and uh, Harry finally defeats Voldemort. You have read the books. 
He's Hogwarts herbology expert, and he once arranged every single herb alphabetically. Where does he find the time? Presumably right next to the saffron. That's my favorite one of the evening. <laughs> Please welcome Matthew Lewis. I've got three. I was terrified about dropping those. There we go. I've got them up. Okay, right. Uh, well, BAFTA asked me to be involved with the young game designers, uh, giving young people the opportunity to create their own video game. And uh, BAFTA partnered with Nesta, EA, and Abate University uh, to create the competition. The amazing prize includes work experience at Brightlight, an EA game studio, and the development of a prototype of their winning game. So let's find out how it's all been going. The BAFTA Young Game Designer Competition is a brilliant way to spread the message to young people throughout the UK that game design is a fun thing to do. And with the help of BAFTA, getting that message out that it's something that everyone can participate in really offers an amazing opportunity. It's great to get young people involved and, and start showing them that there really is a, a future um, and potential career involved in, in, in game design. What I really urge you to do when you think about making the presentation, the pitch that you're going to give, is to restart with that big idea, communicating what's really special about what's in your game. Um, I learned that it takes a very, very long, long time, time to make a game. Yeah. I liked um, or working with my friends and designing um, a game that we'd all like to actually be made. I'd I really didn't know that you could do a prototype for a game on paper. I've learnt that uh, being a game designer is not just the easiest thing in the world, it's actually really quite difficult. Hopefully we will enter into the competition for ours and hopefully win it. Win it, yeah. Hopefully win it, yeah. So today we're going to find three nominees from a shortlist of ten great game designs that have been put together by teams across the UK. jury we've assembled is here because they represent the best of the industry and it's only by all those people sharing their opinions about great games that we will understand what makes one of these products shine above the rest. It's so easy to, to underestimate children. I am stunned with the professionalism of the, the entries. Some of the stuff is amazing. They go into so many details and such creativity behind some of the ideas. After several hours of discussion, three titles really stood out where their teams had gone beyond anyone's expectations to deliver game designs that were credible from a technical perspective and making a fun game that people would want to play. We have our final three nominated teams here in the room with us this evening. And they are Blazing Chickens, which is 16-year-old uh, Ray Elias, 15-year-old Josh Girardi, and 16-year-old Aaron Lewis, and their game Born Dreaming. And second is Beached Whale Productions, which comprise of 16-year-old Dan Pierce, 16-year-old Sam Taylor, and 13-year-old James Cook. And that's for Hamster Accidental World Domination. And finally, Hexadecimal, comprised of 14-year-old Matt Gilbert, 14-year-old Ben Brooks, and 14-year-old James Weller. And that's for the game Ivolution. And the BAFTA Young Game Designers Award goes to Beached Whale Productions for Hamster Accidental World Domination. Wow, um, <laughs> okay, 
it's hard to thank like any particular people because there were so many that have like influenced us and we all worked so hard. So I'd like to thank family and friends because they've just been infinitely supportive and infinitely brilliant. Um, the developers for inspiring us and giving us great material to kind of work off of and learn about. And the internet because there's some great resources out there and some great people to have arguments with. All right, thanks. Thank you. Okay, we now come to the awards for learning primary and learning secondary. Now, these categories are all about discovering new ways to present and explain our world to young people. To present the learning primary award, the youngest British woman ever to reach the summit of Mount Everest. And she got there at the age of 22, ladies and gentlemen. 22. That deserves a round of applause, I think, don't you? <laughs> well, I say that, I, I say that, but, but she was four when she set off. Careful on those stairs back there, they're a bit steep. Everyone, please welcome Benita Norris. Hi. Good evening, everybody. Um, sometimes I wish I was a comedian and not a climber because I can't think of a single funny thing to say right now. So I do apologise. Um, without further ado, let's take a look at the nominations for Learning Primary. Learning Primary Hansel and Gretel Later Youngers Where are they? Can we get a game? Do I know you? Why are you coming off my space for? We're just looking for a game. Are you blind? Muzzies only. Duck out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go. He's a muzzy too, and I'm his mate. What are you talking about? Primary Creative Arts. Alpha blocks. If you spill all the stuff, it'll slide down the slope. You're going to need a mop, but you better not mop. Hmm. We can give you a hug, but it's going to be <gasps> huge. Huge! Because whenever I'm around, I can make you make a different sound. And the BAFTA goes to Later Youngers. Thanks very much. It's wonderful to, to get this. Um, I think the first thing I want to say is to appreciate all the young people who've been involved uh, who are not here. Uh, Late has been going on and off in one form or another since 2002. And really, the greatest pleasure is the number of talented young people that we've worked with from the East End of London, Newham particularly, since that time, talented young actors. And, uh, I want to appreciate also the, the schools in those areas that nurture that talent because I think that's a really major thing and some of that talent finds its way into other places and without that you know we wouldn't see these young people. So I just want to say something about that and also to say thank you to my colleagues. Um, Derek Brown from Actor Shop who, who works with me on the devising side of the drama. David Watson and Malcolm Campbell are writers. 
uh, Chinsia Baldessari, our editor, and Rob Mansfield, our DOP. And I want to say thank you to Andrea Gould, um, the BBC uh, producer on the project, and also to Chris Mason from the BBC, who originally commissioned this. Thank you very much. OK, and to present the award for Learning Secondary, a young man who was the lead in The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, also starred in Nanny McPhee and The Big Bang, and son of Rambo, and is currently filming the title role in Martin Scorsese's new movie, Hugo Cabaret. Now, this boy has starred in more movies than most 13-year-olds have seen. Please welcome Asa Butterfield. It's great to be here. How is everyone enjoying the night? Come on, it's great. All right, so, better get it over and done with. The nominations for Learning Secondary are... Learning Secondary. Timelines.tv. Smallpox through time. It's a memorial to the Brave family. They were the lords of the manor hereabouts. And can you see, we've got an angel here taking two of their children up to heaven. Both of them died of smallpox. Jane was eight when she died, and over here, this is Edward, he was 15. And down below, can you see, we've got listed all the different branches of the Bray family, and again and again, smallpox is listed as the cause of death. Lesson starters, the Holocaust. Später hat die SS uns befohlen, wir müssen am Tor stehen und spielen, wenn neue Transporte ankommen. Die wollten, dass die Menschen eben in Ruhe und äh, ohne zu meutern in die Gaskammern. Democracy in Action, a divided Europe and immigration. Um, so just above where the tree is, in between the two trees, um, there's like a little hole that's, that kind of goes in. And that was where my granddad um, was buried by his brother. Where the stream goes towards the end, um, he was shot there, at point blank. Science of Scams. I'm here to introduce you to Science of Scams, a website created by a team on a global mission to make the world truly question the paranormal. Oh my God. No, 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 I saw it, I saw it. Earlier this year, they created hoax videos of seven different events which appear to be paranormal phenomena. But in fact, they're all based upon real scientific principles. There's nothing paranormal about them at all. And the winner of Learning Secondary is... Timelines TV, Small Pops Through Time. Thank you very much. This is very nice and shiny. Um, we would love to thank our lovely production team, uh, Laura and uh, Clement, who aren't here. We'd like to thank BAFTA for the fact that they continue to um, back educational resources after all these years. And we'd like to thank our lovely sponsors, the Wellcome Trust. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. OK, to present the award for International, someone who's a bit of an international himself. He's the England rugby team scrum half. I've got to say, I'm a bit dubious about letting him hold the BAFTA in case he drop kicks it to table 52. Please welcome Danny Kerr. It's too heavy to pass too far, so I'll keep it short and sweet. Uh, the nominations for International programme are... International. The Penguins of Madagascar. Kowalski! Status 
Police report. Mostly not good with hints of horrible. SpongeBob SquarePants. Patrick, don't eat the tartar sauce. <laughs> You're too late. Your fat friend beat you to it. Now, prepare to taste laser. <laughs> so how? I told you we had to go back further. Uh... Phineas and Fur. Greetings, movers and shakers. I'm Phineas, and that's Fur. And do we have a toy for you? Hold on there. Aren't you a bit young to be toy designers? Well, I don't think so. And now it's fresh. It's new. It's incredibly hip. Soon will be the biggest hit of the new toy season. Harry! The platypus. Dirt Girl World. And the buff that goes to the penguins of Madagascar. I'd love to stand up here and take credit for the genius of Penguins of Madagascar, but um, unfortunately I can't. So on behalf of the production team at DreamWorks and Nickelodeon in the States, thank you very much. Thank you. Now, soon after the curtain came down on last year's Children's Awards, BAFTA set out a packed programme for the year to support initiatives to involve children in film, television and online media. And it looked something like this. Last November, young Merlin fans flocked to our London Children's Film Festival event at the Barbican for an afternoon dedicated to the show's behind-the-scenes magic. These are beads that are recording how John Hurt's face moves that later the animation team will use for a reference. You must do more than understand. You must promise. BAFTA is supporting the Tate Movie Project a unique animated film by Ardman using submissions from five to 13 year olds across the country. Leading BAFTA experts offer tips and advice on the website. This is the recording studio. On the other side of that glass is the huge space where all the musicians perform the music that I've spent the last two or three months writing. And at the Mayor's Thames Festival in London, BAFTA arranged for experts to give advice to budding filmmakers. This dinosaur here is Dilly the dinosaur. He comes up and eats all the mermaids. The completed movie will be screened across the UK next year, and it's estimated up to a million children will be involved in the groundbreaking project. Film Club gives pupils and teachers the chance to explore the world of film through after-school film clubs. BAFTA arranged for filmmakers to talk in schools across the UK. When you go into the cinema, the first thing the film has to do is has to grab your attention. It has to make you want to watch it. It's a job fun. I love it. I've been doing it for 12 years and I absolutely love it. BAFTA and Media Trust have partnered on a mentoring programme in which industry professionals support young people from disadvantaged backgrounds on media projects. Action. We have rested. Our... Each week we've been writing one or two scenes together and then rehearsing them, acting them out to see how our writing actually works. BAFTA partnered with First Light, inviting 13 to 19 year olds to submit their short films and win a prestigious award. The winner is A Wall by Megan Salter. Big thank you, and thank you for voting. And yeah, just thank you. <laughs> Thanks. BAFTA partnered with BBC Blast to create the Screen Skills TV Craft Bursary for young people to showcase their talent and help get their first step into the industry. Here I am. Out of the BAFTAs winning the big <laughs> BAFTA presented Inside the World of Ben 10, an event for children to get a sneak peek 
but how the famous television show is created, along with one of its original creators. This is Ben in that little piece of animation. These are the very early stages, and these are the roughs. So this is me just trying to work out what's needed, what's the action that's needed. OK, now the award for video game. To present it, a new face of the Gadget Show. I love gadgets, and I would watch her more often if I could get the remote control to work. You know, you take your batteries out and give them a rub, don't work. Her name's Pollyanna, but she's such a good presenter, they call her Polly Filler. I know, I'm so sorry about that. Please welcome Pollyanna Woodward. And I thought I was bad at jokes. Um, I'm very, very excited to be able to award this this evening. So let's take a look at the nominations for Best Video Game. Video Game. Rabbits Go Home. Join the rabbits on their craziest adventure yet. Create chaos as you help them collect everything in their path to build a giant pile all the way home. Super Mario Galaxy 2. <laughs> Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. New Super Mario Brothers. Ooh, love video games. And the BAFTA is awarded to Rabbids Go Home. Wow, I think you said that before, but wow. Um, I just want to thank on behalf of all the team who worked on Rabbits Go Home, thank you very much to the Academy. Um, we're really happy that people are enjoying the Rabbits, and um, here's to many more. Thank you very much. OK, to present the Preschool Animation Award, we have an acting veteran. Now, he's the one the younger actors look up to. You know, the one with the wisdom that comes from age and experience? Yes, the oldest child in Outnumbered. Please welcome Tiger Drew Honey. Yeah. 